How'd you link up with YCA 80 bands? Man, I seen I, I seen this stuff on Instagram, man. You know what I'm saying? We messaged for a while. You know, shout out YCA 80 bands, you know what I'm saying? He the one out of LA right now. And uh, we've been rocking ever since, man. I did my background on him. He like me. He stand on what he stand on. Okay. And our neighborhoods get along. So, you know, that was the easy part. What neighborhood are we talking about? I'm from Main Street. Okay. Yeah. Out the east side. And how did how did from your perspective, how'd you meet Christopher Lovejoy? Like I seen that he was ringing like he was basically his name was ringing bells. And I'm like, this standing on business. Whoever this <laughs> is, I hit him up, seen him managed like he already managed, he got connection with that nigga. Whack, I've been trying to hook up with that. Me and Whack good too. Shout out Whack. But after that, we was, you know, he like send me some. Shit, you feel me? Send you some. Shit, you know, then we had a couple little meetings. And shit. He like we really gonna press play. You feel me? If you serious, you gonna write up some paperwork. You feel me? And then gonna really press play. And soon he, soon we press play. It was really press play. No cap. Like we just start gassing. So how long you been serious about the music though? I've been doing, I'm one of the originals. I've been doing music since like 07 on me. I'm one of the ones that have been slept on about three, four times. I done watched everybody get in the game, fall off, get in the game, fall off. I'm just waiting on my shot. Why do you think that is? Were you just not networking right or getting oh. your face out there? Low key, yeah. I, and I done had a, I had all the talent. I was oblivious mm. thinking that the talent is really where it's at. Like, I got all the talent. I'm the most talented. But it ain't about that like that. It's kind of about, having connections, you know, it's that's ass that's selling records and shit. It's cause, not cause they was hard, it was cause they knew somebody that knew somebody. And mm -hmm. I was so busy working on my craft, which it paid off cause now I'm the best, can't fuck with me. But other than that, that wasted a lot of my time though, bro. That is something I've thought about a bunch in terms of the advice that I would give to a younger rapper or somebody trying to make it because you literally have to split your time. Like if you have, 40 hours in a week that you're not working or that you're able to like put time into doing this music thing if you got 40 hours you might want to put 20 of them into working on the music and 20 of them into networking and getting yourself exactly. out there and yeah. shit like that i don't know what the actual ratio is because it might be more like you should be spending 30 hours a week working on the music and then a little bit of time getting out there and letting people see your face and stuff but it's it's definitely a balance because yeah. you know you could you could have like okay music and make great relationships with a bunch of rappers who would make your music better, show you how to make music better, get you with the right producers, get you, you know, like if you had just stayed in the crib 100% working on the music, you would have never met him. Never. You, you probably wouldn't be here right now. Talk like literally complaining, watching your show, talk about, man, I'm supposed to be up on there. This is crazy. <laughs> but the whole time, I'm basing this shit off my talent because I really, I am hard. But it's like, okay, you hard, so what? Like on me, do some viral shit, be viral, uh, meet a viral nigga, get viral, get lit, and nigga, you might get a fucking invite. And when you get your invite, make sure you know how to handle that shit. You feel me? And that's what the fuck is going on right now, I think. I mm. think this is happening, but it's so fucking, it's happening so fast that it's like, surreal. it's crazy. Like. But from your perspective, how do you market and promote a street rapper like what do you do these days some people be out here going viral saying drill is dead and by that i assume that they also would probably lump in like la street music like there's a certain ceiling at a certain point how do you get them into the game never mind break through that i'm gonna be real with you man i'm even though i'm a manager i'm more like a promoter man like i just whatever platform i got he got it you know what i'm saying whatever connection i got he got it you know we just go from there however go or go no pressure you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and no promises we're gonna i'm gonna push you i'm gonna push your shit like it's my shit I'm gonna play your music like it's mine. I'm gonna post my, your, your pictures on my page like it's mine. You're gonna know everybody I know, and we're gonna see if we can get out this shit. Ain't nothing promised, but we're gonna try our best. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's just that like we, we pushing. We're gonna get some money. We gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be 100 with you. I'm gonna go to bat for you. You got any problems, then my problems. You know what I'm saying? And we just go like that. That's just how I roll with everybody. Whoever I sign, we rocking. Sad. He's dealt with crazy ass Crip Mac. How would you rate yourself in comparison in terms of like <laughs> difficulty to deal with? Are you waking up tripping? Are you are you occasionally uh, making outlandish requests? What's a like about? for like with, with me and Cuz like how I'm dealing with him? I mean, there's all different levels of difficulty that you could get from your clients some type. when it oh, comes nah, to management and whatnot. Now nah, I'd be out the way because I've been thank God I've been in the game so long that I really kind of know how to uh I, I really I know how to do all the shit basically that I've been wanting to do is just like, cuz give me the extra push. Because mm -hmm. it's like, what the fuck, I'm finna go book a thousand dollar 
a venue for, shoot a three hour music video, a couple videos, do all this, just spend all this money. If only it's only gonna reach so many people, I feel some type of way, like I really do. Like, so it's like with with, it, with my machine behind me and my management and my team, it's like, okay, now everything that I really push and drop, it really, it really make more sense. Like, you mm. feel me? How um, old are you? I'm 30. 30. So in the rap world, sometimes it feels like it could be difficult to get people the attention when you're a grown man. Yeah. Obviously, like we've seen the outlandish amount of attention that X4 has gotten over the last couple of months. But at the same time, <laughs> he's young. He's like skinny. He got the crazy ass face tattoos. He kind of got that like young jit appearance that, you know, it, that could take you to a certain degree in, in rap. It could take you to a certain place. In terms of like marketing yourself and shit, like how how thoughtful are you about that? Uh, really, I'm gonna keep it G. Uh, I thought about that too. I feel like me being in the streets, like just really known. I'm known in the streets, like everybody really know me. Like these niggas know the truth. And my uh, my section, shout out to 80, shout out to August boys, OT niggas know the truth. But you feel me? My section, I got the keys to my section. Like you feel me? Like mm. I'm put on for my hood, and they got my fucking back. You feel me? So that shit help and just with my hood is a big hood so that shit push through la you know it's with me it's not really about the age like it's the politics mm. it's what stand behind me it's what i really stand for like little nigga like little niggas might had a the juice the action and all that and i ain't even speaking on the homie because that's my homie on the set x4 but i'm saying like a lot of young niggas got that juice they got that look but niggas don't really got that stand on business mm. i got that because i didn't been a young nigga i didn't have that i didn't did i didn't walk Yards, I didn't did all that. You feel me? Ran dorms, all that type of shit. So that's where I get my promotion from. How Actually, much time you spend locked up? Um, I did three years in the pen. I did years of change in the county multiple times. Like, I just bounced them back. But the longest I did was that I had five years, but I did three off the five. Right. I mean. So you comfortable in those environments, or is that something that kind of made you clean up your act and made you want to stay away from that shit? Yeah, it made me, it made it. Because I, I was a disrespectful nigga. I didn't think I had to respect nobody. Like, disrespecting my mama, all that shit. She always said, you're going to mind somebody. You feel me? I'm like, man, I don't know what you talking about. Then I went to jail and I minded somebody. The mm. fucking Johnny's nigga. When they tell you to do this and do that, you're going to do it. So that kind of made me feel like pressured up. Like, damn, I couldn't even listen to my mama, but I'm listening to these people. So it kind of made me have some hair on my chest to where when I get my opportunity to hit the streets, you feel me again? Then I'm gonna I'm gonna set a different example. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like that because to me that was like some buster shit. Like you gonna listen to Cuz, but you couldn't even listen to your mama. She cared for you. She love and kill and die for you. You feel me? Mm. Like that type of stuff made me start growing up and start becoming like a. You feel me? Yeah, like that. You know, instead of acting like that all the time. Mm. Like you know, relax, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I got to tap in with your music more. Honestly, I feel like I the the first time I seen him post you, I just watched mad shit on Instagram. Yeah. And I was definitely impressed. I followed you right away. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely, like, like what do you guys feel like the, the path is going forward? Like, how are you rolling him out at this point? Or is there a focus on, like, a project or music videos? Like, what's, sure. what's the goal? I mean, we, like I said, we just press and play, man, whatever it is. We, 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 we in the studio. We making, we making shit. You know what I'm saying? We... We shooting videos. We just doing. We just doing just the press run right now. Just getting his name out there. He got a whole bunch of content. He got a whole bunch of catalog. He got a whole bunch of records. Yeah. He got everything. My main thing right now is get him out there and let him keep working. Him while I'm working the back part. You know what I'm saying? We get him out there. He keep working. He doing his videos. He keep dropping stuff. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it take flight. Like the music is like I ain't gonna even hold you. Like I got a lot of music. Like, mm. Remember I was telling you I was the nigga that was working on music while niggas was actually working. Right. So that kind of paid off. So now I'm just like on some. Like I'm rent. I got albums that I could drop whenever the fuck I want. But it's like, why are you gonna drop them? Who you know? Like, mm -hmm. drop this shit on time. You feel me? Like I got gang business. I just dropped that. That shit low key go crazy. The one I think you seen. Mm. You feel me? Like I'm pushing that right now. And just, that's just a single. But we talking about these albums. I got the crossover. I got still gassing. You feel me? All type of shit. Like when you get a chance, this I definitely gotta dive know. deeper into it. Cause well, it's not all West Coast. My bad, to cut mm, you off. He all. really can rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got yeah, he yeah. got the songs. He got the look. He got a street cred, all that stuff. But he really can rap. Like go bar for bar with any of these dudes out here. You know what I'm saying? From east to the west. Like, you know, 
Like I said, my job right now is just getting really out there, let people see. Once they see me tap in, they gonna know. Oh yeah, mm, let's so, work, man. Y'all niggas playing, let's work. Man. Certain people, you know, don't want you know certain people to represent the coast or the city a certain way, mm. you know. But like I said, he can really do it. You know what I'm saying? What's really the YCA stand for? Young California Affiliates. Okay. Is that like a crew that you've been repping since you were way younger? Yeah, it's all a young nigga. Like, since I first started this shit, like, 07, we got, like, niggas that didn't got, you know, died from our shit, all that. Like, mm. rest in peace, my nigga Chris, Donnell, you feel me? They didn't really die for this shit, you know? Oh, God. 100%. Where'd the 80 bands come from? I'm from out the 80s, you feel oh, okay. me? Shout out to the 80s, out the main streets, you feel me? And the bands, shit, I just like money. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, fuck it, I like money. That's crazy. I, 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 I never <laughs> asked him, I didn't know that. When he told me that, I'm like, damn, nigga, what you gonna do when you get 100 bands? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna, shit, I'm just I, gonna have 100 bands. I didn't, put it, I, 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 didn't put the, I didn't put together like he's from the 80s. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Oh, me, rap the 80s, you feel me? But that's where that name came from. Okay. 100%.